<laughs> it looks like they've ordered a sequel! Oh. <laughs> Due to popular demand, introducing redesigned Culture Dinos 2, the sequel. The first got a crap ton of support, and by far the most common comments were either when's part 2 or suggestions for said part 2. You may rest easy as this is now a series. Now once again, I've chosen three contenders to make more scientifically accurate. These were picked from comments on the last video. Now without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Also, I have an Instagram, check it out. Man, this show is astounding. It was probably my favorite dinosaur thing when I was a kid. I also seriously underestimated the variety of creatures they had in this show. Also, the time travel aspect is fun and the characters are generally great. Also, apparently it only ended in 2020, what the hell? Accuracy-wise, the show is definitely dated though. The most obvious thing is the feathering of most dinosaurs like the conductor. There's also a fair share of pronated wrists. Anyhow, today I'm going to be redesigning Don. He was always my favorite of the Pteranodons, and he generally just had a fun personality with his quirks. Now, the Pteranodons of Dinosaur Train have pretty much the standard terrorist problems in media. They have fringed bat-looking wings that are a bit too leathery and pointy. Their necks attach to the bottom of their heads instead of the back of their skulls, although this is a problem for all the smaller animals in the show. They also don't have any pick fibers, and their beaks aren't upturned enough. They actually turn downwards. To incorporate these things into Don's design, I only really slightly altered him. I moved his neck further back, made his wings smoother and rounder, and I also defined his chest more since pterosaurs had very large chest muscles like birds, you know, since they fly and all. I also shrunk his hands, which are completely formed with palms and everything in the show, and I gave him a nice coat of picnic fibers. Ah, Fantasia. Putting aside paleontology, the Rite of Spring is an incredible piece of art. The music, animation, and atmosphere really sell the sort of antediluvianness <laughs> antediluvianness, is that a word? of the ancient world. Of course, even for the time these dinosaurs weren't depicted the best, the biggest outlier was the time period. They had Dimetrodon, Stegosaurus, and T-Rex all in the same place and the same time. Also, the clear biases against dinosaurs were present. In the early 1900s, the way evolution was looked at was like a march of progress. With that being the case, dinosaurs were looked at as sluggish, stupid behemoths that lounged around in swamps waiting to die. The dinosaur renaissance after the discovery of Deinonychus is what changed this view. The Stegosaurus is what I'll be drawing. This guy had a whole host of problems. His proportions and a bow-leggedness are the biggest. He looks exactly like the Charles Knight depiction of it. So really all I did was make it skinnier, upright, and more active. For this guy, I used watercolor because that segment in Fantasia gave me watercolor vibes. I'm not the best at watercolor, but I think I got the idea across. The Godzilla Monster Spinosaurus Supreme from Monsters Resurrected. The very monster that killed a 30 foot long The problems with this Spino are many. I mean, it's Spinosaurus, so no depiction is accurate for long, but what the heck did it do to deserve this? It's basically a roided up baryonyx with the sail. The freaking documentary says as much. The only add on like fishing elements at the very end, like for like two seconds, and they never actually show it fishing. They just act like how Jack Horner thought Spinosaurus was in the JP3 behind the scenes commentary. We actually went after a dinosaur that literally could cause an extinction on the island. Not just wrong, you're stupid. This one was simple. Because of its documentary nature, I didn't really need to stylize it too much, although I did try nonetheless. 
I shortened the legs, changed the sail shape, gave it an actual Spinosaurus head with a crest and everything, and a tail sail. I kept the spikes though because they weren't inherently inaccurate, though I did tone them down a bit. I'm not gonna sit still this time. Damn it.